It looked like I could loot him there for a second. Oh, there he goes. Oh god, now he's on me. Not good. Not good. What's up, my immune friends? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Mist Survival. All right, guys, I did you a disservice last episode. I was supposed to put down the tanning rack. I completely forgot, but I wanted to get the animal hide drying process started because it takes a long time, so I put it down off camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you uh, the recipe so you're fully aware of what I did. Uh, there's the recipe, right? That's why I need all that lashing. Um, takes a little bit of nails, a little bit of wood, no big deal. Put it right here. Then what you can do is you press E. I can't do it right now because it'll make me collect the animal hide, but what you do is you press E and it brings up an inventory and I'll show you it at some point later. And what you do is you just drag the, you drag the animal hide you got from the bear into the drying rack, bada bing, bada boom, Bob's your uncle and it's drying. Also, this stuff over here is drying. Now this drying process uh, goes very slowly. So what I'm going to do is I wanted to make a bow today. I don't think we're going to get to a bow today. Um, I don't know what next episode is going to be. We're not going to be able to do a boat today. What we're going to do today is we're going to take care of our water supply. Now that we've got food all taken care of, I think the next thing we need to do is take care of our water supply. And um, I also want to go out and do some looting. And it's uh, it's only noon, so I think we can get out there and do some looting. And um, it is during the mist, by the way. If I had a bow, if I had a bow, I could kind of snipe uh, zombies from up here and farm the zombies. So I really want to get a bow, but we're going to have to wait. Not much I could do about that. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is, um, let's go ahead and put down a water purifier. And I need a bucket. Okay, so we're going to come over here. We're going to come in this bad mamma jamma. And we're going to go ahead and make ourselves two buckets. We're going to need one for the, uh, for the water supply. We're also going to need another bucket to move water around. All right. We're also going to make a crowbar. Because uh, there are locked doors that you want to use a crowbar on. So, But it will cause... It's, it's usable until... Yeah, I'm not sure what the, any of that says, but... Alright, we're just gonna go ahead and make the crowbar to hell with it. The crowbar is gonna help you break into doors, but I think there might be, like, different locked doors you can't get into or something. I'm not really sure. I might be just making that up in my head. Um, so, but either way, we're gonna have a crowbar. And now what we're gonna do is... Alright, uh, so the mist is now over. That's awesome. We are dehydrated. We're probably hungry. So let's go ahead and eat this meat now, finally. Watch this meat, man. This, this stuff is... This stuff goes bad pretty quick. This stuff goes bad pretty quick. Uh, this stuff goes bad pretty quick, but, you know, that's okay. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and drink. We can always kill a bear again, um, now that we know how to kill the bear without too much issue. So there's that. Okay, let's go ahead and make the water purifier. And let's get out of here and do some looting. I want to do a lot of looting, man. I want to explore the new map, um, you know, and stuff like that. Uh, do I want to make it on the tarp? I don't really think I want to make this on the tarp because that would look bad. Actually, I think that's a perfect spot for it. Yeah. If I could just get it right. I could always put it back down if I need to, if it doesn't go perfectly right. But, yeah, that looks pretty good to me. And let's go ahead and build this bad mamma jamma. And then what we're going to need is we're going to need some way to get water here. Now, I could just bring buckets over or... I can build a water barrel, or I can go out and find a water barrel, and I think I have an idea. I don't know exactly where the water barrel is out there. I found a water barrel, like, a few days, like, a couple videos ago, and I was like, oh, I should take that back. I couldn't take it back at the time. Um, we're gonna have to go out on foot, because, well, no. Now that they fixed the truck, we don't have to go out on foot. I was gonna say we're gonna have to go out on foot, because if we find the water barrel, we have to run it back, but that is not the case anymore. Um, they did fix that, so that is awesome. Is that... Oh, cool. There we go. All right, so let me do some inventory magic, guys, and then we're going to get out and do some looting. All right, so I think the barrels are this way. I think the barrels are this way. So let's come on out here and see what we can find. Uh, you know, I really love what he did with the map in this game. I know I've talked about this before, but I'm going to talk about it again. I just absolutely love what he did with the map because it's like, it's like exploring a whole new map again. Like, it's the same general map, but he moves stuff around just enough. So it's really interesting. I really, really enjoy it. I also want to mess around with the shield again. Uh, I'm going to do the upgraded shield at some point and mess around with the shield again at some point. I don't know when, but I will definitely do that. Um, now, I, I kind of want to break apart some of these cars, but I really don't want to waste axe durability on them. Because, like I said, you really want to wait until you have the sledgehammer to break apart cars. Um, I don't know if I looted this area, though. Let's just look around and kind of look, you know, see what we got here. I might be doing the same areas a couple times in a row because sometimes I leave stuff there. Sometimes I don't remember I was there at all. So, there's that. I should also check out the spear. Yeah, let's start picking up those sticks. I don't think you can make those sticks, so if you don't pick them up, you'll, you know, you won't have them. So that would suck. That would suck. Okay, yeah, I, I have been here. I have been here. There's no way all those cars were empty. There's a lot of loot missing in the game, but one thing loot I have not seen loot missing from is the cars. The cars seem to be, uh, the cars seem to be pretty solid with loot, which is nice. 
Oh, so we got something over here. Uh, I've already looted this. Now I know I took everything there because I was there early. But I really want to check it out again, though. But no, don't. Cage, no. Damn it. You don't have time for this. Okay, so we're going to come up here. And I, I feel like the barrels were down here somewhere. I don't think they were up there by the mine. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure they weren't. So let's keep looking around here and see if we can find these things. Uh... Or we could just go anywhere and not really worry about the barrels. I really want to find the barrels, though. But I don't want to be uh, driving around looking... Oh, what's up here? Okay, hold on. Let's check up here. What do we got up here? Oh, boy. Easy there. Oh, that goes up to the uh, bandit that was shooting at me. Okay. All right. What about over there? Yeah, let's check over there. Oh, I, I, love, I love it, man. With the new map, it's just like, oh, let's look over there. Oh, let's check over there. Oh, let's go over there. You know? It's freaking cool, man. That's that's where games are awesome. And you know the map back, you know, forward and backwards and everything. It's just, it's not as, it's not quite as fun, you know. I see a chest I can bring with me. So that's awesome. Did I leave anything in it? I did not. But I put it out here, so I would take it back. There we go. Is that going to be okay there? Yeah, it'll probably be good enough. Maybe I could... No, that's no good. Now, I don't quite remember. Was that road the road to the sniper? I don't think it was. By the way, that building, I've looted like twice already. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I don't know if this is a road to the sniper. It, I don't think it is, but I don't know for sure. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. I'll be very careful here. Try not to get shot. That would be wonderful. Oh, there's something. Can I loot that? Will this thing roll back down the hill? I don't know. It probably won't, but I'm going to bring it up here anyway. Just think, you know. Yeah, that's the way That's the way to the sniper. I'll eventually try to, uh, try to you know, take out the bandits. But um, the thing is, I don't have a home, and if you don't have... When you take out the bandits, for those of you who don't know, when you take out the bandits, you have the opportunity to rescue a hostage, you know? Um, and the thing is, uh, if, I, if I take out the bandits and I don't have a place to live, the hostage has nowhere to go, and I don't know what's going to happen. I, I don't really want to find out, to be honest. Uh, did I bring the bucket with me? I did, okay. Just in case things don't go the way you want them to, we're going to go ahead and fill up this bucket now. So, V, put the bucket in there. Fill it. Take it out. 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 Okay. Honestly, we don't even really need the barrels. Like, if we could just make, like, two buckets, honestly, that's a lot of water. So, uh, but I kind of want to find it. I kind of want to find the barrel. Let me see if I can find it. You know, guys, I think because I'm driving, I think I'm missing out on a lot of key areas that you really don't see from the road. Or if you're driving, you just don't know they're there. Right? So, I think I'm actually going to get off and kind of... You know, go on foot for a little bit. Yeah, like, like, well, I probably could have seen this from the road, but this looks like the kind of place the barrels would be. I'm kind of surprised they're not here, but let's see if we've looted this. Yeah, we did. We even took the locker. Yeah, because this place is pretty close to our base. Yeah, we even took the locker. Okay. Um, can we take the barrel? I don't really like the barrels. They go through a lot of wood, although wood's not really an issue for me. The problem with the barrels is, um, and what I'm talking about is that barrel right there. You can light those up. I don't know if you can actually light that one up, but there's barrels like that that you can light up for, 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 um, for light <laughs> and uh but the thing is you can't like turn them off you know what i mean so that kind of sucks you can't you know they have they burn out you know you can't turn them off like the tiki torches which is why i like the tiki torches and we're gonna be killing a lot of bear for food so oh speaking of food i should have brought some huh well we won't be out here for too long because it's already 1600 so oh, oh damn he saw me from far away holy crap holy crap Yep, and he's going to catch me, too. You can't outrun a bear. At least I don't think so. You can for a little bit, but they'll eventually catch you. Because you're just... You're slower than they are. I'll kind of zip through the trees and see if I can get him stuck on a tree. Yeah, yeah, I don't hear him anymore. He got stuck on a tree, or he gave up. Alright, well, that was not fun. <laughs> yeah, he either got stuck on a tree or gave up. So, that's nice. I'm glad he's a, I'm glad he's a quitter. Alright, I just passed the bandit camp, and I'm going to kind of check down here on the left. Oh, yeah, this, I've been up here too, but like I said, I don't know what I've taken and what I haven't. I feel like I've left stuff, so I'm just gonna... Yeah, there was nothing in here. I remember this place with the cement. The cement. That frick, this statue always freaking bugs me out, by the way. Always. I just saw it again, and I thought, it, I, saw, I thought something was standing there. So that's kind of, uh, you know, a little, little nerve-wracking. Nerve so we're gonna come on down here. There is a few uh, houses down here. Oh, there's the White House, which has nothing in it. Which is, um... Kind of soul crushing. What is that there? Did I? What is that by the White House? What is that? I'm pretty sure I've seen it, but now we'll kind of come take a look at it. Yeah, this little uh, what is this? 
little packet of something. It looks almost like an airdrop. Yeah, with the... No, the, it's just a tarp. Yeah, there's nothing here. You could take apart that jungle gym. At least you used to be able to. Um, for material, so I'll probably do that at some point. And we are at the military camp. So you guys said there was an M4 at the military camp. Uh, but you know what? That's really not what I'm here for. I will go back and uh, loot that military camp again at some point. We'll try and get that M4. I think what I need to do is I need to go back to that video. You guys just commented on it. It was like episode three. And um, you guys told me the exact point at where the, uh, where the M4 is. I need to mark that and write it down and go back there in a few videos and grab that M4. Faux show. Oh, yeah, there's something over there, too. Come on. We're doing, time. we're doing okay on time. All right, so this, I'm going to hit this place, then I'm going to come over there, I'm going to hit those cabins, and then we're going to go home. Next episode, I, I definitely want to make a bow, and I also want to make a sledgehammer. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do next. I think the bow has got to be my my main, my number one concern. So that's probably what I'm going to do next episode. I could probably do the bow and the sledgehammer in the same episode. So what do we got over here? This used to have some good stuff at it. Is this the one that's on the road? Yeah, this is on the road. Okay, so they definitely move stuff around a lot. They, one developer. The developer definitely moves stuff around a lot. Alright, so I guess I've already been here. Nothing here. Oh yeah, this is the one with the well. With the bucket that I can't take for no no good reason. <laughs> no good reason. Alright, so we're gonna... Oh, stamina is killing me. Damn it. See, now that's a problem. Stamina is a lot better than it was before this update. Like, he's... he's pretty generous with the stamina but the thing is once it goes down uh you know i mean like I, I wish i could just sleep for like 15 minutes or something or like rest you know what you could do you could pick up sticks if your stamina is a problem actually i'm gonna take all this stuff if your stamina is a problem pick up some sticks and then sharpen them or turn it take up take some uh, branches and turn them into sticks see and you're gonna need those sticks so you, you didn't waste any time. The only problem is you, you're miss, you're losing daylight, which is kind of an issue. Excuse me. Got the hiccups. I can't let my wife know. Whenever she gets the hiccups, I, I always laugh because she does like really funny hiccups. So if I had the hiccups, she laughs at me and I can't tell her not to because, <laughs> because you know, you know. All right. So we're just going to come on over here, grab some more sticks. And there should be some cabins over here. Yep, there's the... Okay, that's the cabin I want to check out. I think uh, once I get the bow, I'm going to start taking out infected. Uh, there's infected in some of these cabins, and I skipped the cabins. Uh, now, I could kill the uh, infected with the shotgun. The problem with killing the infected with the shotgun is I don't have a lot of rounds. I could kill the, kill the infected with, the, with the, the baseball bat and the shield. The problem is the shield... It's not expensive, but it's, it's kind of expensive. Um... And it takes, uh, you know, it takes nails, which is components, which is very valuable. Uh, and also, like, it breaks very quickly. So, yeah. So that that's one of the cabins, yeah. All right, so let's check out this cabin over here. I don't think I'm going to get the water barrel today. It's all right, Doug. Honestly, getting a bucket of water is, is, is good enough. All right, guys, remember that house on the side of the lake that had the charcoal on the ground? Well, that's where we are now. And remember, there was a door that I needed a crowbar for. So, by the way, are these breakable? No. It doesn't seem like much of anything is breakable. Uh, so we're going to grab the charcoal and we're going to break into that door. Grab that wood. Alright, V, unlock with the crowbar. Proceed. Should be something good in here. Alright, so we got a container with nothing in it. Okay, well, yeah, um, okay. I could move it, but do I really even want to bother with that? I mean, two two loot spots? No, nah, I don't think I care. All right, well that's that's um, it's kind of a shame. All right, well let's come over here to this to this cabin. We'll check one more cabin, and I think we got to go home because it is getting late, late as f. Oh boy, where is this cabin? It's over here somewhere. There it is. Oh, by the way, another thing you can do to get stamina back is once you've made the sticks, you can make arrows. So that's that's how I get stamina back. And I'm going to need it because it is... I think the zombies start coming out at uh, 20, 2000 hours. What is 20? That's like 6 p.m., right? I don't know. I'm not good with telling regular military time into regular time. Pretty sure it is, though. Oh, God, no. Okay. 
And there's not even any sun out. So, all right, we're going to have to come back to these cabins with a bow. Well, guys, I keep telling you to save and save often. My game just crashed. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save here. Uh, and I, I went all the way over there and like just I was heading my way home and the freaking game crashed. So, uh, but we're going to come on over here. What we're going to do is, again, I'm going to check out this military camp again at some point uh, to get the M4, but not this video. Uh, I just want a full day to really like go through that place. Um, and I expect to die. Because, like, I always see bandits there, so I expect I'm going to die. So I want a whole day, you know, so I don't, like, you know, run short on time. We'll, we'll do it. We will definitely do it. Um, but for now, I'm going to kind of check the outskirts and see if there's anything out here. It doesn't look like there's much out here. Kind of got, we got kind of got ledged up there. Um, so let's come on down here and, nope, there we go. Okay. Bunch of outhouses. I'm not seeing any bandits, but... They're usually there. Uh, although the last time I was there, they, they you know, were uh, nice to me and not uh, coming over and killing me. Actually, they kind of disappeared. So, all right. So I don't want to really deal with this place, but it looks like I'm going to have to. So, oh, can I get underneath this? Yes, I can. Beautiful. All right. So let's see what we got over here. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is all the loot? I need the loot. Where is the loot? Make with the loot, bro. Oh, I lost all my sticks, too. So I got to pick up more sticks so I can craft uh, to pass time. Oh, we got something over here. What is that? Huh. What is that? Oh, something on the other side, too. What is this? Just some... Oh, okay. We got a few buildings over here. That's cool. All right. Oh, you know what? I've been here. This whole place is empty. That's right. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I remember. I remember those doors. Those doors look really interesting. And I couldn't get into that building. You know, I think uh, our next loot run, what we're going to do is we're going to hop in the truck and we're just going to go all the way down this road and see what's what. Because uh, I think that's our... I think that's the next place to go. I think most of the stuff on this side of the map, most of it has been looted. I mean, not all of it, but most of it. So, yeah, and this is the one with the well. Okay. All right, let's head home. You know, as dark as this game is, you know, after this update, I got to tell you, man, when the light hits the game just right, it's freaking beautiful. This is some really, really good lighting. I enjoy it quite a bit. Anyway, guys, I came home. I tried to sleep through the night. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I was dying of dehydration. I drank all the remaining water I had. I have no more water. Let's go ahead and get some more water. What we're going to do now is we're going to take our bucket of dirty water, and we're going to... Uh, put it in the purifier you actually have to put it up to 10 or it won't put anything in there and then we are going to need firewood and tree bark do we have any tree bark oh boy i don't know i have some i don't know how much oh three gosh darn it i think i picked some while picked some up while i was out though no i didn't no darn it all right well i gotta go get some tree bark this is gonna be pitch dark guys so i'm not gonna put you through this i'll be right back with some tree bark man that was scary as hell being out there you could not see anything it is pitch dark man thank god there was no infected out there but i did get the tree bark i needed and we're also going to need logs i was supposed to pick up some logs before i came up here but that is okay we'll grab a couple logs right there and what we're going to do with the logs is we're going to chop those into firewood eventually you can make a um a fire chopping station you know uh but i don't have one of those right i, I guess i can make it pretty easily i'm just not really concerned about it all right, and then we're going to start boiling up some water, and I'm going to sleep through the rest of the night. I went ahead and looked up the location of the M4. You guys told me to 11 minutes into episode 3. That's where the location of the M4 was. So I went and, um, I went and took a look at it, and I, you know, I got that in my mind. I got it written down, and um, I will definitely go check that out at some point. I don't have to drag this down here. It's just automatically in here. So, And I don't think you have to like try and get it started. I think it's like 100%. So distill. There you go. So it's going to take four of the logs and it's going to distill all of the water. And I now have some water going. That is wonderful. So 11 minutes in episode three, the M4. We'll get that eventually. And also, um, I did go back and look at the, I, I found the video where I actually found those water containers. And I think I know where they are. Uh, honestly, I really don't need the water containers. Uh, getting 10 units of water is pretty good. But I've got it in my full head now. Um, I'm, I'm obsessed with finding it, so we're gonna go find we're gonna go find that in the morning. Because when I say I'm gonna do something, I have to do it, or I won't be able to sleep tonight. All right, bright and early in the morning, the distiller's still going. Let me just show you how you get the water out of there. You take your water bottle, put it down here, take the water, 
bada bing bada boom i now have my water and food issue um taken care of which is just awesome i am going to take one piece of food out with me this food I don't know the, oh by the way i did have some salt on the floor when i was cleaning up um i did find some more salt so that's nice and this food doesn't seem to be going down that slowly i'm, I'm kind of i'm kind of happy about that uh do i have any room for anything i do not i'm still gonna have to throw stuff on the freaking floor god i hate that uh, well, I'm not going to take the bucket, and these are the two things that if they do disappear, you know, so be it. Let's go ahead and get that damn thing. I'm going to actually show you the entire trip, because it, you, most of you guys probably know where these buckets are, and you've probably been telling me, and... Oh, crap. Okay, I didn't expect that. I did not expect that. Alright, so I'm wondering if they're dead now. It's, it's freaking 7 o'clock in the morning, how are they not dead? I think they might have died. That's why that guy was like running at me, but I think he died on his way to me. And if they did, I can... Alright. Alright, what we're going to do is... I'm going to jump up here. And they don't... Like, they don't seem to be acting right. I'm not really sure. This is, this is where I need the bow. By the way, he's burning to death. So I'm just going to wait for them to burn, and then I'm going to loot them. Let me mark where they are. There's one there. There's one there. And there's one out there. So we're just going to wait for these guys to die. These guys are acting really funny, man. I'm not sure what's going on here. Hello? Yeah, I don't... I don't know. He seems stuck. Can I even hit him? Is he dead? It looked like I could loot him there for a second. Oh, there he goes. Oh, God. Now he's on me. Not good. Not good. Come on, get out of there. Don't be a hero! Wait, is he... Oh, can he not come in here? Can you not come in here, bro? Yes, no, maybe so? I'm not sure how to hit him. I didn't seem to... I'm probably too far away. How is that... Yeah, that feels like it should be hitting him. Need to get a spear. I heard the spear has, like, sick reach. Hit him in the junk. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. It might be because I'm inside the building and he's not. Oh, there he goes. Can he get up here? Cannot get up here. Can I hit him? Oh, dude, did you see that? I was hitting down. That's cool. I like that. Except I'm not hitting him. There he goes. All right. How's my health? Eh, not looking great, but... Uh, Alright, got a couple things there. Dude, does pills give health back? Nah, it's just... Inf nah. I don't think there's any real way to get health back. I also don't know why these guys aren't burning up. That's kind of a problem. They're supposed to burn up in the sun. But, alright, well, whatever. Let's 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 get on getting on. I'm gonna ignore him. Alright, so this is how we're gonna get to the barrels. This is where I need the bow, by the way. If I had the bow, I could've killed those guys easy. So, you know. There's gonna be a lot of hot fixes, guys. You know, single-person developer... Uh, he's just one guy. I think he hired one other person to do some things here and there, but it's mainly just him. So, you know, we're gonna have to be patient. I mean, that's early access, man. It reminds me a lot of, um, of, uh, subsistence in that way. You know, as far as, like, one developer. So, I will, uh, I will accept that. Alright, let's come up here and get these water bottles. So, we're on the main road. Again, I'm gonna take you guys with me so you know exactly where they are. Did I loot that, please? Alright, so here's the thing I'm gonna do, guys. Really quickly, another thing I gotta tell you about. When I loot a place, I did not loot this place. All right, let's loot this place. When I loot a place and it's completely looted and finished, I'm going to put a structure outside of it, like a little ghost image, to signify that that place has been looted because I'm really getting confused on what I've looted and what I haven't. So, when you, I think when you guys gave me that uh, suggestion, it's a great great idea. Great idea. Can I take any anything in here? I think there was a lot of stuff in here when I was here. But I, I took it all. How do you get clay? Anybody know how to get clay yet? No idea how to get clay. By the way, seeing that, that box right there, that military box, and then being empty, drives me up a wall. It's such a tease. It's such a it's such a loot tease. Okay. So this place has been completely looted, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put down a structure, and I don't have to waste any resources or anything on it. I just got to put something down. It could be anything, right? Um, I would like something that stands tall, though, like a drying rack, right? There you go. Put a drying rack right there. Doesn't cost me anything. And guess what? Now I know that place has been looted. 
because I have been going to the same places over and over, and that's got to stop. All right, so we're going to come up here. We're going to go to the right at some point. I don't know when. I'm looking kind of like for a trail. Maybe I should get out of the... Maybe I should get out of the vehicle. Now, I think there's a trail up here that goes to the right somewhere. Yep, right here. Okay. Yep. And this is going to take us to a cabin. I actually do want to take my truck because I'm going to put the uh, water things in the back. So this is going to take us to a cabin. I need to explore over here thoroughly. I've explored over here, but like I said, a lot of times when I'm exploring, my um, my uh, inventory's full and I don't take everything. So, and here we are. And there they are. Beautiful. Guess what else I can take with me? Guess what else? These. Yes, sir. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to take everything. This might get a little full. Can I put that on the... This would have been a pretty nice place to live. Um, I do have everything stacked on there, though. Um, I did move the truck. Oh, by the way, there was a... Uh, there was a, a locker in there that I actually had some stuff in that I didn't loot, which was nice. Um, so that's cool. We got a lot of looting to do. Uh, now, I did loot this place 100%, except for the car, but I can see the car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... Uh, yeah, let's put this down there this time. Why not? We're going to put one of these down in front to signify that we've looted this building. There we go. It looks pretty much like the drying rack before it's complete anyway. Um, anyway, uh, also, I'm going to leave these here because I don't have electricity yet and my... my my truck's kind of full, but I'm going to take this stuff home, guys, and I'm really glad I found these water containers. Uh, we've got our water completely hammered out. We've got all the water we're going to need. I've organized. Everything's looking good. we got a water distiller, and we're going to have water barrels. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this off camera because it's going to take a while. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a body of water, a lake, and I'm going to take the bucket, and I'm going to use the bucket, right? What you do is um, I'll explain this since I'm not going to show it to you. You use the bucket. And then you just simply put it in the water container. Piece of cake. Holds 100 units of water. Beautiful. All right, guys. If you haven't been enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.